Yeah. I must say, I, I know, Martin, you want to go. I just want to ask you one quick thing. Oh, uh, but I, I must tell you that since I've got the mic in my hand and no one can stop me, that uh, one of my uh, formative experiences at the Rio Earth Summit when we were discussing, when delegates were discussing uh, forests, was the Malaysian delegate who actually, uh, when questioned whether they weren't destroying the livelihoods of in, uh, indigenous people, said, it's all right, we're going to have funds and we'll retrain them. And uh, when a journalist asked, what are you going to retrain them to do, there was a stunning silence while he thought very hard and then said, woodwork. <laughs> So before you go, uh, perhaps I, if you're both going to go, are you? Can I just ask you then this one question here from London? What do they think? I think that's Martin Hiller and and uh, Tony. What do they think about nuclear power as a solution? We might hold on to Mark. That's why I'm saying it. Oh, I know this is a very big one, but you're you're used to talking to the media, so you can try and encapsulate it. I have a really short answer to that. Nuclear power is a really old-fashioned technology. It's very insecure, it's very expensive, and it's not part of the solution. In all the analysis that we look at, when we look at technical solutions to climate change, and there exist many analyses and there exist many different ways, we see that nuclear power is simply not needed. And I give you one example, and that's energy efficiency. If you look at Europe today, you can say in the European Union today, you can save more than a third of the energy we use at commercial rates. That means you don't pay anything for it. Yeah? It's absolutely no regrets. Uh, you can save up to 70 or 80 percent of the energy when you just change the market and uh, make energy more expensive. Then it will be interesting, economically interesting, to save most of the energy that we're using today. It's not difficult to combat climate change. It just needs to be done with imagination and not with old technologies. And nuclear, nuclear power is really an old technology. Okay, do you agree, Tony Juniper, Friends of the Earth? Yes, completely. And uh, the, the, only, the only thing I would add is, is just the um, opportunity cost of going nuclear, because in the UK we've had a big debate about this, about whether we should be using this relatively low carbon technology or not. And the reality is that even if we began tomorrow, we wouldn't have one single kilowatt of new electricity from that source for at least 15 years. And we now have to begin going low carbon much quicker than that. So there's a big time gap there. And in that time, if you look at the resources needed to get nuclear going on any scale that's going to make a difference, you're talking many, many tens of billions of pounds or dollars or whatever. You could get a much bigger reduction in emissions by investing that money in renewables, more sustainable transport, energy efficiency, stopping deforestation. Those are the places you can get a bigger quicker hit. And as Martin explained earlier, we've got a peak and decline very fast. And nuclear, I'm afraid, won't help us with that. You can do much more, much quicker. You can get more jobs from renewables and energy efficiency if you're looking at the economic dimensions of this. And of course, in the world we now live, there are big issues about proliferation and terrorism. And committing the world to a nuclear future is only going to make that problem more dangerous. Okay, Martin Hiller and Tony Juniper. Oh, Mark Linus is going too. I, 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 <laughs> I was going to ask you a very interesting question, but thank you very, very, very much. They're not, they're not going to eat, they're going back to lobby and uh, back into battle, as Tony says. <laughs>